All right, everybody. Welcome to Elden Ring The Convergence. I am going to be doing a new playthrough of Elden Ring using this mod, The Convergence. Super excited. Part of the reason I wanted to get into PC gaming was to play Elden Ring mods. And this one right here is arguably one of the best mods out there. Completely revamps the game. All new spells, all new builds, new enemies, new objectives. Pretty much like flips the whole game on its head and creates a whole new experience. So I'm super pumped and we're just going to jump right into it here. Start a new game. Like we create a character. Start with... Yeah, I guess I gotta type my name here. Oh, Vass. About Vass Virgins. Vass Virgins. Young guy. Alright, Origin. Alright, so this is... This is the... Different... Starting builds you have. Now, there's a lot. Now, I've looked through all of these already, and I already know what I'm gonna go for. But... We'll just flip through them quickly so everyone can see what the options are. There are a ton. There's like 20 or 30. Um, which is amazing. Look at this. Look at this guy. Look at the perfumer. Now, I would never be the perfumer. Because that's not my play style. But. And then you always, you know, obviously got the level 1 prisoner. But. So, I know what I'm going to go for. I am going to go for the Star Caller. Which is obsessed with the otherworldly powers of the cosmos, this mage wields the forces of gravity. Focus on int physical damage. Um, pretty good, pretty solid stats across the board. Faith in arcane. That's fine. I, I, I don't typically use arcane builds, and I'm going int. Why do I need faith? So we're gonna go star caller. And keepsake, I think these are mainly the same keepsakes you get in the vanilla game, but I'm just going to go with the Golden Seed. And uh, what type of base template on here? Not going to spend much time on character creation. Go with, uh, we'll go with the loner. Loner looks good. Let's jump right into this game here. Start with this character. And we'll see what happens. The fallen leaves tell a story. Can't remember if this is the same opening cinematic or not. Well, since I played the game. America. Queen Marika the Eternal is nowhere to be found. And in the night of the Black Knives, Godwin the Golden was first to perish. Soon, Marika's offspring, demigods all, Claimed the shards of the Elden Ring. Seems like the same opening. The mad taint of their newfound strength triggered the shattering. A war from which no lord arose. Lania. Look at that sword. A war 
Radon. Leading to abandonment. Radon is huge. By the greater will. Oh, rise now, ye tarnished, ye dead who yet live. The call of long lost grace speaks to us all. Horalu, chieftain of the Badlands. Aha. The ever brilliant gold mask. Fear, the deathbed companion. The loathsome dung eater. <laughs> and Sir Gideon Othmir. The all knowing. this thing off cinematic and one other whom grace would again bless tarnished the star caller of no renown cross the fall to the lands between to stand before the Elden Ring Get it. and become the Elden Lord. Buddy. All right, here we go. Containers. You will need crack pots or other containers to craft items. You'll not be able to make more containers. Containers items will run out with use, but the containers themselves will remain. Cool. Alright, so we start in the same spot as normal. Though the path be broken and uncertain, claim your place as Elden Lord. Alright, so we get to start out with the Tarnish Wise and Finger, the Whetstone Knife, Flask Wonders Physic, and the Crafting Kit. That's pretty cool. Okay. Go through the door and see what happens next. All right, fast traveling right off the bat. Weeping Peninsula. All right, did not see that coming. Um, we got a couple chests. Dark color hood. Note, Path of the Starcaller, Faint Rune of Gravity. Alright, so they, they gave me a bunch of stuff right away. Equipment menu, you can equip armaments, arrows, bolts, armor, you can equip up to three arms. They're making it more, like, user-friendly, which is nice. So if you were playing this game without knowing Elden Ring at all, kind of guide you a little bit more than the base game does. Um... So I already got... Weird, they gave me duplicates. I already got all this stuff. Yeah, I can... I guess I can just sell the, the dupes. I don't know. Kind of redundant. Then... Alright, inventory, browse items. You can also use tools. I already know all that. Alright, so this is new. Faint Rune of Gravity. You're used to learn several novice gravity sorceries. Finger, write messages. So literally, do I use it? Why not? Ooh, okay. Gravity well, shatter earth, and rock burst. Nice. Three spells right off the bat. Then, crafting. Various things. Oh, look at that. The full list of crafting is already available. That is quite nice. 
find all the crafting books. Obviously, I need to collect all the materials first, but... Alright, cool. Awesome. That. Then there was... Oh, and... Look at that. Start with the Spectral Steed Whistle, too. I'm in Torrent. My Golden Seed, I'll use that. Sit down at the Grace. Knife in the Crafting Kit. Spells. Start with the Short Sword. Start with the Digger's Staff. The Armor. Alright, here we go. Path of the Star Caller. So, examine. Alright, the Star Caller prim primarily uses intelligence with physical damage. The following locations have gravity spell runes. Oh, alright. Gives you places to go. Shimmering Rune of Gravity, Earth Bore Cave, Glowing Rune of Gravity, Royal Grave Ever Jail, Shining Rune of Gravity, War Dead Catacombs. Oh, I hate that catacomb. That means I gotta kill Radon. Radiant Rune of Gravity, Yellow Onyx Tunnel, Notable Armor Sets, General Radon Set. I mean, it makes sense. Radon's Gravity Boy. Sold by Aenea after defeating General Radon, Red Main Night Set, Fort Gale. Alright, so we got some places to go. Which is cool. First touch the grace. Rest at the grace. My golden seed. That cooking. Alright, so I am on weeping. Alright, map menu. I'm, they're starting me here in this like mountain part of weeping entire map is available I don't need to collect map fragments fine with me um now it's now you just now you just go like normal build these bros to start off let's test some spells out MRI sorceries Got it. Okay. I like that one. Ooh, he was coming in kind of hot there. Alright, now I know that that little thing is going to turn into a more difficult enemy. Hold off for a moment. Out of FP. Oh, look at that. My FP is slowly re regenerating. That's awesome. That's awesome. Every corner of the lands between, you'll find fruits and flowers, mushrooms, butterflies, and other useful materials for crafting. And it automatically picks those up. Just need to run into it. I don't have to manually collect it, which is very nice. Alright, now do I have a guy on? Feeling this? There he is! We're doing it! We're doing it! Alright, he's a gravity bro already, so this probably isn't a bunch of damn. Here he comes. Oh, dude! <laughs> right off the bat! Uh-uh. Not up in here! Yeah, I'll do the same to you. Oh! Uh-oh. I like this spell. This is like the uh, Falling Star Beast Jaw spell. Very slow to cast, though. Raiden blows. He's gonna win every time. Not looking good for me. Oh, 
Oh boy. Ah, uh, almost had him. I think I'm a little too weak to fight this guy right off the bat. Probably could do it if I spent some time on it, but... Probably need to upgrade some stuff and... This is definitely not where... ...you start in the base game. The enemies are a little bit harder. Keeping. So, I think what I'm going to do is kind of get, get the basics first. Collect some stuff. String jump, yep, I that. Get some uh, graces. Probably going to head over to the place where you actually are supposed to start the game. Main part of Limgrave. No, I can upgrade my weapon and do all the stuff there, so. I am not selling. Let's see what you got. Sell my duplicate armor. Unless there's a reason I have the duplicate armor, maybe I'll hold on to it. Your basic stuff still. Can't afford any of it, so. We'll come back. I got the grace. I'm gonna head. Yeah, I'm gonna head to main limb grave. Getting this. The whetstone knife. You can use ashes of war. That's not. That part's not new. Mighty shot. That's not new. Cruise through these bros. I think still. Golden rune. Grip of white flesh. And catch you guys later. Horseback riding. Use the spectral steed to summon. Oh. Pouches. Yep, I know about pouches. That was interesting. She is. I wonder if the quests are the same, too. Go talk to her and see. It says the same stuff. Hello? Might I bend your ear for my name is Irina, the servant's Born. I can I swear I heard from my good father, so he decided himself to stay. I Same quest. The servants are fully since come for everyone. I fear it's no please. Would you mind taking in my soul wish, please? Thank you. Then sure. Please. Deliver it to my father. Please, he can be stubborn. Do that eventually. Bridge of Sacrifice. Something there. Click that real quick. Turtle neck. Oh, they get that. Nice, great smithing stone. We'll take it. Now we gotta get out of here. Now we gotta get out of here before we get shot. Forgot what's over this way. Girls. It's just like a shortcut to, um, yeah, that castle. 
I don't think I've ever come this way before, really. I don't want to go there quite yet. Every grace we can along the way. Not gonna fight every enemy I see yet. Probably in general. Fight every enemy I see. Try to do most of the bosses. Probably won't do every single boss in the game, but. Try to do just about all of them. Quick rest here. Got no one's physic yet. Spells. Level up yet, can I? Oh. Okay. Stuff. I gotta change my steed. I like. Nope. 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 Ah, da, da, da. I like why I left a steed. Slice some meat. Give it to me. This is a good little this is my farming spot when I first my first playthrough. Let those guys kill each other. Jump in and finish them off. My very first farming spot. Oh, I remember it like yesterday. Fun to go back through this game. I like a lot of these areas. I don't gravelstone seal right off the bat. This is new. Ooh, path of the dragon cultist, faint rune of lightning. Okay, start me out with some good stuff for treasure chest. He's here. You're here. fashion way but um yeah I mean when I play the game now I don't like travel to these nooks and cranny areas fun to get to uh oops I get to do that again all right I picked up some stuff ain't rune of lightning lightning spells oh yeah lightning channel Honed bolt, lightning spear. All right. Ooh, electrify armament. Nice. Wonder if I can use those. Hope so. What else did I get? I got a couple other things. Letter. Oh yeah, the seal. Which I don't really need. It only has ten faith. I guess if I level up and I want some, uh, some faith spells. Actually, these lightning spells are probably faith, aren't they? I probably can't use them. Maybe later in the game. Later in the game. We can always change builds. That's the fun of the game. And respec later. Alright, here we go. Home sweet home. The beginning. I get that. Summoning pools in each area. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I'm playing offline, so I can't 
that a whole ton of people playing this mod right now. Alright. So we made it to the quote unquote beginning. Um, I think I'm going to wrap this one up here. Already 25 minutes in. I, I basically have done nothing. But, um, yeah. We're, we're ready to we're ready to roll in the next one. I think we'll probably we'll hit the church of Ella. We'll talk to this guy, White Mask. I'm not gonna fight the um. I forgot what he's called. I'm not fighting him yet. I'll take on some of the easier bosses. I'll go to that cave, do the catacomb, and uh, you know level up as I go. We'll take it slow. We'll just take it slow, and uh, we'll make our way through the game. I'm excited for this. Hope y'all are too. Catch you in the next one. See ya!